everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at both of these areas. So we can see here that another area is highlighted on this graphic for potential development and we've already got our Caribbean system which was highlighted yesterday. So we're going to be looking at these. We'll be looking at some model data as well and uh, what is currently happening across the Caribbean surrounding areas and the rainfall forecast for today. So let us go ahead and get straight into it. Here we are taking a look at the satellite imagery and we can see that a lot is going on right now off the African coast uh, and there's that front and that front as it is going to be making its way out an airflow pressure may form along the tail end of it and become separated from it so with that happening that is when we could see the system that airflow pressure that is expected to form trying to get some tropical or subtropical characteristics but should there even be development it's likely that that system is going to be remaining out at sea and not going to be much of a bother for anyone but it is given that chance of development as of right now a 20 percent chance now let's head into the caribbean into the vicinity of the caribbean and here we can see that for many areas much is not going on but we can certainly see those uh, spots of some deep convection a lot going on to the north of puerto rico it's a good thing that uh, that isn't in that because that would have been resulting in a lot of heavy rainfall maybe even some flooding as well but there are a couple of showers moving through the area for puerto rico and uh, things have been improving in the dominican republic which has been impacted uh, by a lot of heavy rainfall many areas were underwater and unfortunately the death toll continues to rise and the latest total is 21 lives lost amid all the flooding that took place there on Saturday. So that is just a very, very unfortunate situation. My thoughts and my prayers are with the people of the Dominican Republic right now. But moving on to other areas, we can definitely see that uh, going through the Lesser Antilles, a bit of activity is moving through, especially for the Windward Islands. There may be some showers coming in from the east, uh, particularly going down to Trinidad and Tobago. Then as we look into the vicinity of the ABC Islands, some convection is nearby Aruba with some shower activity as well. So some showers, thunderstorms are nearby. Can let me know what's been happening for you in the comments and through the majority of Central America. It's pretty quiet right now. Similar stuff for Jamaica. Some areas are experiencing some showers though. Uh, things are pretty clear for most of the Cayman Islands going towards Cuba, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands and even for Florida as well. Let's look at the rainfall forecast. As we see this map becoming more colorful with those yellows, oranges, reds, burgundies, that is indicating more rainfall activity. So across much of the Caribbean, we're seeing that a lot is not expected as we're going to be heading through today. We're seeing those burgundies and purples offshore to the north of Puerto Rico. However, there could still be some periods of heavy downpours across the area. So for Puerto Rico and even going into the vicinity of the easternmost part of the Dominican Republic. Uh, there could be some periods of some heavy downpours. Virgin Islands, a whole lot is not expected, but there could be some showers in the area. And then as we go down into portions of the Lesser Antilles and into especially the Windward Islands, we see some of those green shadings, a couple of those yellow shadings as well. So some showers may be moving in, a whole lot not expected across parts of Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. Some activity may pop up, especially later today uh, due to that daytime heating. Headed towards sections of Venezuela and Colombia, similar story with a much higher probable uh, possibility of rainfall abc islands we're seeing some of those yellow shadings so again there is some activity nearby and uh, a couple of showers may move into the area and then uh, the rainfall probability for central america is low for most countries except for costa rica and panama so there could be some areas experiencing a lot of heavy rainfall but as we head toward the cayman islands cuba jamaica uh even going toward haiti and parts of the dominican republic the Turks and caicos islands and the bahamas much is not anticipated as we head through today so at the most there could be some thunderstorms uh here and there and even some passing showers at times but nothing major is expected within the area 
Let's head back to our disturbances. Here we are looking at what the National Hurricane Center has. Again, 10% chance of seeing something form in the Caribbean. But uh, let's look at this map here. This is the map of the shear. It may be a bit difficult to see, but those land areas are highlighted in white, or outlined rather, in white. And the green lines represent areas of conducive upper level winds, meaning that they're not going to be interfering much should the system try to develop. So we can definitely see that across the southern Caribbean where that disturbance is located. But when one thing is conducive, another right now isn't. So that dry air is going to be a problem. We're looking at the map and those areas of yellows, oranges, reds, they indicate the dry air. So as we see more of those more vibrant shades of oranges, those reds, and even those pinks, that is when there's a lot of uh, dead dry air in the atmosphere so that is definitely going to be an issue for the system as all of that activity infiltrates because where we find a lot of dry air the environment is typically more stable there and it is instability that is needed to generate those showers and thunderstorms associated with these areas of low pressure so this is going to have a hard time with a lot of dry air in the area so let's see what it does over the next couple of days and models are certainly not showing much development and speaking of let's go ahead and take a look at what a couple of our models have to show so this is gfs as we head into wednesday the middle of the week definitely not seeing anything to find we're not seeing those black squiggly lines in that circular manner uh, trying to tighten up which would indicate development and intensification there so that is not expected we're just seeing all these green shadings representing that uh, precipitation rate now we're going on to the euro model and this is as we head into early on thursday again we're seeing that area of lots of showers uh, making its way toward the west and eventually making its way into central america then as we head on to the icon model icon also not showing development but definitely showing all that precipitation associated with that disturbance drifting towards the west so there you can see it guys models are not showing development however uh, if the area should sustain enough activity it could be quite the rainmaker and uh, in some instances it could even unleash flooding so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on it it does not take a tropical cyclone for us to see some significant flooding as we uh, as what we saw unfortunately in the dominican republic so hopefully that's not going to be the case with this system it's definitely one to watch but i i really don't expect this to develop into anything much over the next couple of days that better chance of formation would be for that next area highlighted out in the open waters of the atlantic we may see that one develop into a tropical or a subtropical storm and the next name on the list is vince so let us see if that is going to acquire the name vince when that air flow pressure uh, forms and possibly becomes detached from the front but that is what but that is what i wanted to share with you guys in this update i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be weather wise